Welcome back to WFMJ Community Connection. Joining me today is a new person, a new friend to me. Her name is Jessica Driscoll Owens, and Jessica is the Community Relations Coordinator for the Beatitude House. Thank Good morning. Thank you for being here. Now, I'm going to tell you what, I got, this is what made me call you, and, and also I was, you know, trying to schedule people to come on, but I read that the Youngstown Foundation just provided a grant for the Beatitude House. Tell our viewers about it. Absolutely. So the Youngstown Foundation has been very supportive of us um, pretty much since day one. Um, we're so grateful to them. Um, and this grant is really going to help us with some new um, surveillance, some new security. We need some upgrades. We want to make sure that our clients are safe. That's yes. so important. Uh, so they're very helpful with that. And we also are expanding um, our Ursuline Scholars program. What is that? That's a new program, so that's everyone knows us mainly for housing, which we right, are in housing. Right. That's how we started. Um, it's just it's a wonderful program, but mm -hmm. we now have our Ursuline Sister Scholars program, which helps those that are returning to college, um, okay. so low-income mothers that want to go back to school. Okay. So it is a wonderful program, and um, we need a little more space for that program mm -hmm. as we've continued to add more students. And so with this grant, we're gonna be able to have a dedicated space for that. Wow, now are these students that are members of the families that live at the Beatitude House? For the majority, the most part, okay. yes. But we right. do accept applications from others as well. Okay, well people watch WFMJ Community Connection weekly and I want them to know what is, can you give them a definition of what Beatitude House is and, and what, it, what it does? Yeah, so Beatitude House um, started in 1991 with the vision of Sister Margaret Sheets. And I think oh. that's the best way to start by explaining it and then give a little definition. Okay. Um, Sister Margaret Sheets happened to see a movie that um, a homeless mother was struggling and she didn't realize all the resources that homeless, like that you don't have, how mm. much you struggle. She didn't, it really moved her. So she um, found, someone donated a tutor home to her, an old style tutor home, which is the one we still have on 1515 um, Fifth, Fifth Avenue, Avenue. Yeah. Yes. Um, and she there housed four women with their children that had nowhere else to go. Wow. And so that's really how we started. And we're all about um, educating those women, helping them get back on their feet, uh, finding the resources that they can have. We really just want to help them. We want to make the community better. We want to make them better. Homelessness is a big problem in our community. It's, it's not overwhelming, but people do look for places to, to live and there may be a low income or unfortunate situation that makes a mom homeless. You know, the only option they have is the rescue mission. But how do they apply for the Beatitude House? Or, I mean, how would somebody, if somebody was watching today and they know someone who is in need, how would mm -hmm. they be able to get in touch with you? Well, we actually, the whole Mahoning County actually now is under um, a different system. It's called Coordinated Entry. Coordinated Entry? Yes. Okay. So it's actually through the Help Hotline, which is the uh, number 211. Yes. So if you call the Help Hotline, they're able to assess your needs and see if the Attitude House is the right fit for you. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 211. That's yes. all they need to do. Now, I understand, and you, you kind of leaked to me, you have a new website. Yes, Tell we us do. about it. Tell us. It is so wonderful. We've been needing some updates for a while, so we were so excited um, when we were able to do this. And we actually got funding from the community for this also. Um, so our new website has all three of our programs on there because, like I said, everyone thinks that we're just housing, housing which is yeah. what we started as, and it is our biggest mission. Mm -hmm. um, but we now have the Ursuline Sister Scholars Program I mentioned, and we also have an immigrant outreach program, which um, helps teach English and helps tutor the children of non um, English families. Um, so that's fantastic. But so this website talks about all of our programs. There's pictures there. You can see our events. Um, you can learn how to get involved if you want to volunteer, or if you want to become a mentor for the scholars program, if you want to help te teach English, if you want to mm. donate. There's just so much on this website to um, help you get connected to us. So volunteerism is important. Yes. Y you know, you could get volunteers by, you know, putting it on the website. But you mentioned something that I, I just, I read about, but immigrant outreach outreach now folks don't understand we have immigrants in this oh, area yes. and mm -hmm. there are quite a few that yes. are underneath the radar now i know that we have this ice thing and people have you know been carted away but you there have that christian open arms come we will help you tell mm -hmm. me about that immigrant out outreach that you all do absolutely so um, the community has classes 
for those that need to learn English, English uh, yes. three days a week. Okay. And so we have classes the other two days. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's unique about ours is we offer babysitting. Because, what? Yes. Wow. This is great. Because so often we find that, you know, the mothers, they need to learn English, but their husbands are working and there's no one to watch the children mm -hmm. because they haven't met anyone yet. Mm -hmm. um, so we will watch the children for them while they're taking the class. And then we also offer tutoring to those children because they often, they come home and they, you know, want, to, um, they need help with maybe they're learning their English or their math or, mm -hmm. and if their parents aren't familiar with that, they're just not able to provide that support. Right. So we do that. We also have um, cultural things. We take them, like we have summer camp they can go to. Is and that right? We, yeah, with other community areas, we help wow. take them to summer camp. Wow. So. I didn't know that either. Now, when, when we talk about folks that are um, immigrants, and you, you did say English as, as a second language is big. It, it really is because folks come here and they are not, they're not familiar with our, our language, but mm -hmm. they learn what they can in the aspect of going to day-to-day -day activities. So I understand that. But five times a week, you guys offer that. That is we, really wonderful. We offer it twice, but the oh. community offers it three times. So okay. there's a chance they could go every day if they wanted to pair with both oh, programs. Oh, I see, that's yes. great. Now, the other thing is, it doesn't cost anything. No, absolutely. It's free. Yes. And that's, that is key because mm -hmm. people pay to learn languages. You know, there's all kinds of things on the phone and, and, and online, Beatitude House can give you this. You don't have to go to the Rosetta Stone. You can, <laughs> you, you know, you can, you can do it this way and is it just open to people that are with the Beatitude House or is it open to the public? This is open to the public. Mm -hmm. I would, if you're interested, I would encourage you to look at the website and mm -hmm. talk to our program director for that, um, for figuring out enrollment and stuff, but this is completely open to anyone and it's great. We have a lot of really great testimonies coming out of that program. Like wow. we just had someone that she's been with us for a couple of years. She learned um, English. She took some tests for her GED and such and now she just started um, STNA. What? Yeah. Wow. That's well, I will tell you, I, you know, the STNA program is for the state of Ohio is wonderful. You mm -hmm. know, they get licensed, they get, you know, the training and whatnot. But I experienced some STNAs when I was out and about, you know, ill. Yes. And, <laughs> and I will just say that, you know, I, I came across some really great people that helped me in my convalesce mm -hmm. as I got well. So STNA is a great program. Absolutely. And that's something too our scholars program tries to work with um, students on because often we think you have to go to college, which college is fantastic if that mm -hmm. is what you want to do, you know, but there are lots of different options that can help you um, have, have a better income, have a better life. Indeed. Now that website is www.beatitudehouse.com, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't put it on the, on the uh, screen, but I will put it on our website with your permission, Absolutely. if it's okay. We'll yes. get a link and put it on there. And then when somebody watches the show, they can go to wfmj.com and see your link as well and, and be able to be in touch with you. Yes, we would love that. Any oh, that support is, is always appreciated. That is great. Well, Jessica, I 